So hello guys, this is Mohamad Fahim bin Amin. Today I am going to show you how you can install Sublime Text and set up that for your competitive programming journey successfully. Now in this video, I am going to follow this article from the geek for geeks setting up Sublime Text for C++ competitive programming environment. But don't worry, I am going to provide this link in this video's description box. And if you simply follow my tutorial, I hope you won't get any error throughout the process. In this article, they have used another process to install the MinGW compiler, but don't worry, I have already showed you how you can install the MinGW compiler in your Windows operating system. If you haven't watched that video already, then I have already provided the video link in this video's description box and moreover, you might get that video's notification in the upper right corner of this video. So I'm going to simply avoid this for now. First of all, I need to install this Sublime Text. So for that reason, I need to go to the official website of Sublime Text, which is sublimetext.com. You can simply search that for, uh, you can simply search for this website in the Google and you would get there. And from here, I need to download the latest Sublime Text. So I'm going to simply click on download for Windows. Now keep in mind that this process I'm going to show you today is only applicable for the Windows operating system, whether you are using Windows 8, 8.1, 10 or 11. All of the processes are the exact same. All right, so I'm going to simply download this. And after finishing the download, I need to simply install it. It's actually a normal basic install installation process i mean simply click next and i'm gonna check here add to explorer context menu click next and install and after installing it i'm gonna simply open my sublime text as i use it frequently i need to pin it it's complete optional whether you want to pin it or not and if you have any license for the sublime text you can simply register it by clicking help and enter license section or if you want you can also purchase the license but if you don't have any license and you get this unregistered mark, don't worry, the same process will be applicable for you also. But as I have the license, I'm going to simply license it now. So I have inserted my license key and the license has been activated. But don't worry, the same process which I'm going to show you right now is also applicable whether you have bought the sublime text or you are using the evaluation free copy from them. All right. So let me check the article again. Moreover, I have also written a gist file here. I'm going to provide this link here. This is a shortcut. You can set the shortcut copy from that uh, geek for geek article. I have made some changes here from another video, I suppose. But don't worry, simply follow this video tutorial and you should be good to go. So first of all, I need to press Alter Shift 3, Alter Shift 3. So I'm getting three column right here. And now I simply need to click tools, build system and a new build system. And here I need to replace this and then I can use the shortcut keys for saving this file which is control and S. And I'm going to simply save this file like this cp.sublime-build and I'm simply going to save this file. And then I need to simply click tools, build system and click here cp. So that whenever I use the CP format, CP build system for compiling and running my C++ file, I can do that. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simply open a folder. And this is the folder. And right now I'm going to create three files. One of them is main.cpp. You can name it whichever you want. And then this file would be if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna save this file as input f dot in and i'm gonna save this file as output f dot out and now if i simply create a c plus plus program here let's see i'm gonna simply use a dummy code from my this gist so i'm simply gonna copy and paste it here you can use any code you want to check it and then for input i'm gonna provide two integer variables and then a name and keep in mind whenever you want to build and run your code you need to sim you have to make sure that you have selected your cpp file and then you can use control b 
and this should compile and provide you the output in the output dot output if dot out file like this so you can use this format in any way you want to meet your need so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button and if you want to follow me you can do that in github gitlab linkedin facebook twitter instagram i will provide all of the link in this video's description box and i will see you in the next video till then take care thank you everyone